Good morning everyone, welcome to Big Eye Golf. I am in a car park in Weybridge. I know, places I get to. Um, I am here to, well, maybe play some golf, maybe find out about a new golf experience. I am going to there. The Everything Golf Studios in Weybridge. The weather has been absolutely pants here for the last week. So places like this, I think are gonna be fantastic. I uh, heard about this one the other day, had to come and take a look. Let's go and find out more. Hi everybody, I've already said welcome to you all uh, in the car park. Car park's just out there, brilliant. I am with Mike Derry. Yes. From the Everything Golf Studios. Yes, welcome. Thank you for letting me come and look at the place today. Yeah. I'm finding it fascinating. We've had a little look around already, which we'll do some more footage downstairs later. But we are in, well, the relaxation area, I guess. The, yes. the chilling out area. The main area. The main area, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that's part of what this place is about. It, yeah. it, it is a golf studio. It is, yeah. You are a PGA pro. Yeah. We'll discuss that in a second. You have two bays downstairs. Yes. Um, yeah. But this, and we'll show you this from the background in a second, this up here, we've got TV, we've got relaxing lounges. Yeah. Bars and table, we've got a proper bar. Yeah. Um, and across the road is the restaurant as well, which can bring food in occasionally from time to time, as we discussed. Yes, absolutely. So, although you teach, this is also a social area, social gathering kind of place. Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, so, uh, originally, um, the concept behind it was I wanted to get back into golf, which okay. I was moving further away from. Um, so, being at different posts throughout my career, um, I saw golf going in a different direction. Um, so I kind of left the, the normality of what a PGA Pro would do. Um, then lockdown happened, which gave me a lot of time to think, and um, I didn't want to go back to sort of the norm, the golf, the golf professional with the shop, and the, so I thought I'd do it on myself. Okay. So that's why it was called Everything Golf, because I could everything do literally golf. everything I could do at a golf club, I could do in here. I can teach, I can sell, I can, you know. This video is very much an introduction to this place because we're going to make use of it from time to time, I make use of you yeah. as well, if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just find it quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. part, of, part of what we do here um, on the channel is I find all these kind of almost hidden gem places, whether they be golf courses or establishments, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and many people on this channel know I also run Big Obby World, which is more of a foodie and travel channel. Okay. So the reason for that is my wife doesn't play golf, she has no interest in golf whatsoever. Yeah. Couldn't persuade her to play golf if I tried. Um, so that's the way you want it. Though, well, it is. It is <laughs> in a way, but it's quite nice if we go to a hotel and there's other things for her to do. Yeah. Um, and again, this is this is not. Well, this is not a hotel. This is an establishment where people who play golf can come enjoy it. Yeah. But it can also bring other people who don't play golf and just have a drink and chill out whilst they're doing yeah, golf. Yeah. And that, so it's it's available to everyone. I wanted it to be accessible, not just for the golfer. Part of what I do here is, is, is introduce different people to the game, whether they like it or not. You know, that's up to them. Of course. If you provide the the, the platform, um, you're going to chance off that you're going to get a lot more people to yeah, play if, golf. If they come, the, either the vast majority or at least even 50% of them, if they decide to want to take it up and have a go, Absolutely. you brought in more people to the game. What, what this does is it, it, it basically targets the time poor golfer. You know, the, the guy that comes into the winter months and he works Monday to Friday. The weekend he's got family commitments. You know, chances are he's gonna play golf once a week, if he's lucky. Whereas, you know, now you can get home, feed the kids, put them to bed, read them a story, say goodbye to the wife while she's watching EastEnders and come down with the lads for nine holes around Augusta or Sawgrass. So you are a PJ pro. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit more about how you got into golf and your, your kind of Golfing life, I guess. Yeah. Only in two minutes. 
Well, okay, so um, starting off, quick quick version. Um, my dad uh, started me off at four years old. Okay. Um, he was a good golfer himself, county golfer, captain Cornwall. Um, so that's how I got in. I got brothers, elderly brothers that play. Um, elder, older. Older brothers, yeah. Older brothers, I should say. Um, again, we competed all the way up through junior level. Um, loved the game. Never, never had a break from it. Never needed to. Um, so that's, that's the way I've always gone. I went to PGA Professional. I started off at St. Q as my first appointment as head pro. I then went to uh, the point, well, Rosero as it was. Yeah. Um, I did um, a couple of years at, at um, Chavez, different doing little di different things. And then I went to Merlin as, as a professional. So okay. um, that's kind of my background. Uh, I did five years um, in Surrey uh, University and I did study golf studies, golf management. Um, and I was lucky enough to be uh, assistant at St George's Hill. Okay. So in terms of where I've been, you know, in terms of the establishments, St George's Hill, second to none. I mean, it's it's up there. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the starter club at St Hugh. Yeah. So you've been, been so grassroots to, to high uh, high quality uh, level. Absolutely. So the, my understanding, I, I'd like to think, is is quite you know it's spanned. So. And um, so you basically, I think you left Merlin. Yes, left Merlin uh, just before lockdown. Um, love the place, yeah. great, great golf club. Um, you know, it, it provided um, a very reasonable cost membership. Um, the members were wonderful. Well, I'm, I've got on people know that I'm a member there now, and, and I'm yeah. really enjoying it there. Everything yeah, absolutely going well for me there. I'd been there six years. I think it was time. You know, I was sort of starting to sort of get itchy feet, and I wanted to move on, do different things, uh, which I wasn't probably going to be able to do at Merlin. That was all. I, th um, I think we've discussed it that sometimes working a, as a pro at a club or in a pro shop or whatever restricts you yeah. to certain things and you end up not necessarily Merlin but lots of courses dealing with all the little rules and regulations and committees and I think you get, so that, John, John, you get that in, in every golf club it's yeah. not just yeah. it's not, you know that is always going to be and that's the reason why I, I sort of did it on my own I thought you know I can get rid of the politics I can just be about golf I can be about the tuition, I can be about the social side of it. Um, that's where it came from. Time to have fun. Yeah, absolutely. Right, Mike, what are we going to play? You oh, play one old challenge? Yeah, one old challenge. Let's, let's, let's go for the, the, the most famous one, which is the 17th of Sawgrass, the Island Green. I don't know let's why. Have a quick check of that one, look. Take you down there. You'll be lucky. I tried playing this at Grill Moor. they got a kind of a fake version, haven't they? Right. Yeah. I landed on the, I've landed on their island once. Every other time, I've been in the slow pitch. Okay. So what have we got? 128 yards. Okay. Three foot down. Pins at the front. You can show us how to do it. Oh. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're the pro. You've got the pressure. How many runs do we get at this? Oh, yeah, that would be a lot of you. Go on, that a bit of a laugh. A lot of you. Let's let the man have a go himself. He's going to get his own club. What club are you going for? <laughs> I'm going to go fishing with. Doesn't make any difference to me because I'm nowhere near as good as you, so I'll have to do what I can. Right. So I play a slight draw normally. This is the sort of thing you can do here. You know, Mike gives lessons and everything, but the social side of this place is just going to be amazing. If you think about the bar upstairs, people socialising. Eight people down here sitting on the side here with their drinks. Challenges, great fun. When you say grab a piece, grab a piece. Good ball, Billy, go on. Sit down. Oh, I love you did it before. Go on, stay on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm bothering. I really don't. <laughs> that's that's on. Is that it? It's probably got this. Get up! Oh, come on! <laughs> that's about as good as you're really going to get. Oh, they're going to put you a drop in here, are they? On the island. I was going to do row a boat to get over that bit, did you? <laughs> oh, that was close. Come on. Yeah. I've got a great story for you in a minute. After you've shot, after you hit the green. Is that a shot? To, is that a story to go on the video? Or is that yeah, thing? absolutely. Okay. Right. Is he not ready? 
He's not reading it. Oh, come on. That was good. That might have gone on. I think that would have been on. I, I think, think that would have been, been on, yeah. yeah. So, so, Bobby, who you just met earlier, well, yeah. um, two handicapped from Sonoma, great golfer. He um, changed his name for the video. <laughs> yeah. Is this still on? So, he had a hole in one on the 8th at St. Enadoc in real life. Yeah, yeah. He came in here, uh, played St. Enadoc, and had a hole in one in here on the 8th. <laughs> no word of a lie. I don't know anyone that's done, done that. Had a hole in one on the same hole in real time play and in real in here. Let's try again then. Yeah. This might be job, What's the problem? That's gotta be good. Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Sit down. Sit down. So grab, grab a piece. Thank grab a piece. Thank 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 well thank done. You. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and this is know? what Big Old Golf's always been about. We are fun golfers, there's some pretty good golfers in the channel. Some people say sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Most of the time I'm not. But it's about having fun. It's about finding friends to play with, old friends, new friends. Yeah. Just going out and having a good time. It's all about the crack for me. I lived in Ireland, it's all about the crack. Yeah, it's, it's not just you know, about the tours and you know, I know you've got Live Tour, you've got you know, all these different ones coming on the yeah. Again, more of your that's, more that's, politics. Com that's competition golf. Yeah. Um, like I say, the politics come in, into that, you know, it's, it's, it's happening. Uh, golf is a game at the end of the day. Um, the more people that you can introduce to it and they enjoy it, that's got to be better for golf. I think that's it. Golf is a sport, we understand, but it's also a pastime. Yeah. It's also a game. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, and it's, it's, it's very good for exercise. Things. I mean, you know, we talk about lockdown and mental health and, 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 you know, and, and what golf did. It was probably the only sport you could actually go and you yeah. know, take part in. So it, it, did, it did wonders for, for golf. I know it's you know, <laughs> COVID and whatever, but uh, yeah, no, no, it's, it's mental health. It's, it's great. You're out there on the golf course normally for you know a good sort of four and a half hours if you play a four ball. Although Nick Gannon would like that at Travers. Yeah. Would have played golf in under three hours at Travers. <laughs> I love Travis. Nick, you're a lovely man, Nick, honestly. <laughs> Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> he, he won't watch, he'll be fine. Um, <laughs> so, lockdown happened. Yep. You weren't working for anyone particularly at the time. No. Nope. Uh, so you decided to find this place and create your own. This has just, just had its first anniversary this week. It has, yeah, uh, four days ago, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I looked, I was looking around, I had the idea um, in, in my head, um, talking about the machines, the Sims. I've, I've worked with Gary Lennigan at uh, the Royal Cornwall Show. I think we spoke about that a little bit. Um, that was about you know eight eight years ago now, nine years ago. And the systems were fun, but they weren't accurate. Yeah, the technology um, has improved. Uh, and yeah, when you look at technology and what it can do now, it, it, it is so accurate. Um, and it got me thinking, right? This is the, this is it. You know, if I can find a venue which is you know on the high street. Oh, yeah, it can, and you it, are, it can, you are yeah. literally on the high street. We close the windows because there is quite a lot of traffic noise. Yes, we're, we're, we're on the road. This is the main yeah, road into Wayne Rouge. Rouge. So, uh, uh, and it was great. It was two floors. Um, I looked at it and thought, okay, let's, let's do four simulators, but I wasn't able to. Um, the ceiling was, was too low. So I thought, well, let's, let's try a bar then. Let's, let's bar. try something different. Bars, and, bars and, always work for me. And Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but what it, what it did for, for the place was it, it, it took it in a different path. Which I was surprised at. I wasn't, you know, I was literally going in just for the golf. But now it's, you know, I've got people ringing up saying, "Have you got a bay free? And yeah. you know, have you got a lane free?" And I'm, I'm like, "No, it's not bowling." But yeah, absolutely. People look at it as an entertainment thing now, rather than it's, you know, it's, it's strange the way it's happened. But it, it, the bar has actually suited it. You, you've cut exactly. You kind of so you've moved it in a different direction. Um, yeah. when, when I walked through the doors downstairs, you, you walk in and you've got Skytrack, is that yep, right? that's right. So you've got two Skytrack bays, yep. all, all fitted up and everything, you would have seen that in the pictures, mm -hmm. I hope you're on the B-roll that we're doing at the moment. Yep. Uh, so you give lessons here because obviously you're, you're a pro, so you teach, yep. um, and I know yesterday you had a really good player in, one, one yeah, hand one hand 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 yeah, came across from so Carlon Bay, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's yeah. some really good players who play here as well, but because of the bar, because of the relaxed attitude you've got, especially in the evening, that goes, that's mm -hmm. kind of when the bar really kind of happens. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. The serious side of it, the lessons, whatever is done, yeah. pretty much during the mornings and in the afternoons, and, and then it, it, it moves on, it, it becomes a new sort of demon in effect. It, you've got a lot of people locally that come in just for drinks. I think you said that to me yesterday, you were having people come in 
uh, just literally for a drink or two. Yeah. Uh, and then downstairs, the sky track goes from kind of the lesson situation to playing nine poles on a, on a yeah. well-known course. We actually put Gervais on earlier. There's, there's, we put Gervais on it. <laughs> there's, there's so many. There's a hundred thousand yeah. golf courses on it. Uh, you know, you, you can range from, you know, we've got locally, we've got St. Elidoc Travaux, we've got Land Hydrock, uh, we've got St. Melian, Mullion, um, then you move on, you've got Saunton, you can go to Wentworth, Sunningdale. The thing is, you, you've West mentioned Hill, lots of local courses because although it doesn't re you don't really think of Wadebridge as a golf place. No, you don't. It's, it's centrally located to so many well known courses that I've actually played a lot of them. Um, and people around Corn would know. Mm -hmm. You've got the Treveses, the, the St. Anadocs, the, the Land Hydrock, where we've had our charity golf Bowood team. Bowood Camelford. Yep, yeah. Bowood Camelford, I've just filmed there recently, the Point Poles there. Mm -hmm. Lots of very well known courses. Yeah. Uh, Merlin, not, not very far away. That's right. So you've actually got a really good catchment of local golfers as well. Yes, absolutely. And, and Waybridge is still pretty much a holiday place. The Cornwall is a holiday location and Weybridge is a central based exactly area. Exactly that, yeah. So it is, it's great, you know, we can sort of promote and, and try and put it in sort of holiday apartments, you know, different brochures and whatever, give them some deals. So the holiday people, it works quite well with because they're looking for something to do on a rainy yeah. day. And we're not restricted. We're not time poor in here. Uh, you'll never lose a golf ball. You'll well, never, that's true. Oh, you'll, you'll, ne you'll never need, you'll it, never need waterproofs. You yeah. never get rained on, and, and you can play in when it's dark. Well, I think I, I said out there on the carpet, this week has been absolute pants weather-wise. Mm. Uh, there's no way I could have filmed anywhere, and to be honest, I'm not a fair weather golfer. I use the excuse of, we've got found the pounds of a camera kit, we don't want to wreck with water. But I don't think I particularly enjoy playing golf in really seriously bad weather. Uh, even if you've got all the expensive wet weather gear and stuff, it's you not st fun. You start on the first tee, and it pours down. You're wet for the whole round. Yeah. <laughs> or you're trying to give up and find, hope you get nine holes in the bar here by and you're That's right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. At least in here you don't. So this is kind of, it's an extension of a normal golf range. Yeah. It's, I think we discussed off camera, um, you might want to mention this, you almost want to turn it into like a little golf society, like a little golf club here. Yeah, like I mean, if, if, if you look on, actually on Everything Golf Studios underneath is the new golfing community. And uh, I wanted to, you know, that's what I want. I want the community side of it as well. I want the social side of it. So my membership is going to be coming in, uh, hopefully in October, start of okay. October. Um, it's not going to run like a normal golf club membership. It's going to be probably maybe £35 or something like that. But they, they can buy into the benefits. They'll get 10% off their drinks. They'll get 10% off their golf. Um, once a month, there will be an away day. Yeah. If I get 100 members, I go to a golf club and say, I've got 100 golfers. We're coming in November. Exactly. So you become yeah. like it's almost like a little. I, I describe this space as a bit like um, a, a cheap membership for uh, if you were like in a sports and social club and you wanted to join the snooker room. Yeah. So you'd have you've got like two bays downstairs. Like you would have two snooker tables. You've got two bays, mm -hmm. and then you've got the facilities. So you've got lovely TV here, relaxing area. Like yeah. I said, there's a really good restaurant across the road. The takeaway you bring over. Yeah. You've got the bar facilities, so you can kind of relax here and chill out. Absolutely. I mean, you've got the uh, salt box there, which is yep. you know, four different kinds of food. Fish and chips. Just there. Just yep. there. Yummies, which is just down around the back here. So that's it. And we've got uh, Ripley just started up behind the, the sheds. And that, you can there. even bring your dog to get fixed because the vet next door. Absolutely well. right. Yep. Absolutely. And, and, and we are, not we are dog, dog, over we're dog friendly in here as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't know this place. But that's the thing, it's a kind of hidden gem. It's only been going a year. Yeah. Um, you're still developing it, yep. which, is, which is great. Mm -hmm. And I know this is sounding like an infomercial, uh, but it wasn't really meant to be like that. I just wanted to come and find the place, take a look today, introduce Mike to the channel, because we want to do some stuff with you as well. We, yeah. we do with lots of other pros. We're not exclusive to one pro or, or another here on the channel. Um, and I think it'd be quite nice to showcase some of your facilities. I think it'd be really good. Be great. Okay, so if you have any questions about uh, the Everything Golf Studios, put them on the comments below. I will answer them. I will get Mike to try and answer them as well if you like. Yeah. Look, at, look at Mike's website and so say this is in Wadebridge, just come and give it a go. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so the sky track is, is the technical stuff downstairs, the relaxing side is up here. Yeah. So thank you very much for allowing us to come have a look around today, Mike. Uh, nice we will be coming on uh, to do more here on the channel 
Um, hopefully give us a few little pro tips, maybe yeah. do some of those on the channel. Absolutely. We'll yeah. do some stuff on the Skytrack down, downstairs as well for different things. So you want to get down below 19 handicap? John? Yeah, it'd be nice. I'd like to get down past 27 right now. But <laughs> well, um, So yeah, it's nice to come back and, and find a place and come practice. It's near Merlin again, so if the weather's bad, I'm in Merlin, I can dip up here and do Absolutely. something. Yeah. Um, just nice to get you on the channel, my friend. Yeah, no, it's great. Thank you for inviting me. It's okay. So, so we're going to see Mike from time to time on the channel, along with all the other pros that we work with. Just wanted to bring someone new. We're going to change, bring some new buccaneers on as well who play on the channel. So nice to bring some other different new blood on the That's pro side as well. Pleasure. Please subscribe, everybody. Please hit the notification bell. Do all those things, and we're going to because he's got a bar. Hopefully, you know how to run up a cocktail or two. We'll put him on the on the big Oggy World <laughs> channel as well. You'll have to practice, but we'll do that as well. So again, please make sure you subscribe to Big Oi Golf and Big Oi World because that channel is growing very nicely too now. See you all soon everybody, on a course or indoors, we shall see.